It's very intense. There's a lot of things to cover. There's a lot of people. Everybody on the show is a star. We got it from A to Z, from Jessica Alba to Renee Zellweger, and everyone in between. So I think that um, you have to accommodate all those people. You have to make sure everybody has their scripts. Everybody arrives on time. We also produce a pre-show for the red carpet. There's a lot going on, a lot of stress, but if you love this business, it's the best job in the world. Okay. It is, it's hard to describe, seriously, how over 900 employees all get here through different traffic patterns, through different locations, how all the food finally gets dished up, how all the china glass silverware, how that red carpet comes alive, and all the media arrives, it is a it is an absolute deluge. Now, um, as a matter of fact, is we receiving ton of you know the merchandise, uh, you know the receiving area, is a war started already over there. So the uh, um, uh, again, you know, meat and fish is. I have no idea all put it together how many pounds or how many you know thousand you know this is this, but you know the uh, uh, but it's, it's a matter of how I'm organized with you know my brigade and uh, you know the uh, we 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 started uh, already you know the preparation you know the plan and so um, we're in good shape Exactly, it's margarita with double the stuff. Now you live together, now they're apart. <laughs> now Marla heads on outside. Marla, look up here. I look straight out, right here. And on the left there? Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Why I'm getting good works today. Well, for me, being a Zoftic woman, you know, there's not much you can buy off the rack or, you know, not many designers are running to try to dress you. So for me, it's just fun just sort of exploring and seeing what I can come up with and how I can be creative and just enjoy the experience. And this is exciting, just having this with a little pampered here and there and, you know, hanging out. I'm, I'm having a great time. I really am. It's going to be, and it's going to be my first time, so and it's the first time for the show. So it's all sort of a blessing for me, you know?
Are you excited about the Golden Globes? It's really yeah, look, it's, it seems like a really fun week. It's all foreign and new to me, so I'm just here to have a good time. And to be nominated with uh, only 12 shows aired is uh, unusual and uh, a huge compliment to the show, and it shows a lot of belief uh, from the foreign press that they believe the show's going to be around for a while. And uh, you know, the show's blown up here, and uh, you know, we, we couldn't uh, ask for more. What would a Golden Globe mean for you personally? Oh, it would be a really nice, it would be a wonderful honor, you know? I mean, uh, I mean, it's really nice to be recognized. I've never done a film thinking about getting awards, and I mean that. I, I don't, I wouldn't do, I don't do it for that. I don't think most actors do, but it certainly is nice to get recognized for it, you know? I think it's great. Gave me a nomination. You know how many times over the 20 years I've watched these these award shows take place, and you're just hoping that somebody saw one little piece of your little film and somebody thought enough about you. I didn't know that you had to go and campaign and all the things that you have to do to make people aware of the projects. And so I'm still riding on that day. I'm still riding on on people recognizing everything I've been trying to do for all these years. Are you surprised or, or even shocked on the strong, strong, positive recognition that it's received? Oh, it, it'll be very much like, you know, I have to shave probably, you know, that's always a problem. And then <laughs> it's just really like getting ready for today except wearing different clothes, you know, so it won't. Uh, we've been doing a lot of awards things, my wife and I, and uh, going to you know, the New York Gotham Awards and uh, the AFI uh, luncheon and uh, um, the National Board of Review event in New York and the Tavern on the Green. So this is, it's, it's bigger than those in terms of its public uh, awareness, but it's physically it's pretty much the same thing. You know, you're going there, you're sitting at a table and people are winning or losing, making speeches, you know, it's, it's, so it's not that unusual. Uh, the, uh, but I think it's, there's other wonderful films this year that deserve recognition and, and so there's, then no one knows it's going to happen. The, uh, uh, I know I'm going to write in the morning if I can and then uh, put my suit on at the last second and hop in the car. So that's my day. Acceptance speech? Um, you know, I haven't thought of anything yet, uh, so hopefully I'll think of something tomorrow. It, uh, it, just in case I, I get the chance to go up there, I should say something that it makes, has a modicum of sense. So.